Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about the five most common mistakes that people make in the dark age. This is going to be part of a four part video series where I focus on the dark age, the feudal age, the castle age and the imperial age and the most common mistakes that people make there. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive right into it. The first most common mistake people make is wrongful scouting. You want to be doing correct scouting and correct scouting is scouting around your base first then scouting the mid, and then scouting your opponent's base. You want to get those early sheep that hide around your town center area. And they're just around the black vicinity of your base, the fog of war. And you want to get those sheep to secure yourself an early food source. After we have secured the early food source, we want to head out, scout the mid, then scout our opponent to make sure that we, uh, we have the information we need to adapt our strategies to what our opponent is doing. The second most common mistake people make in the Dark Age is not using scouting information correctly. That means adapting your strategy to what your opponent is doing. So, here we see our opponent is going to go for a second town center. The reason we can see that is he has villagers on stone and a lot of villagers on wood. We've scouted this already. We have one scout here that is able to tell all that information and all that we're looking for now is where the second TC will be placed. Is the second TC placed out in the uh, on the map more aggressively trying to acquire food sources or is it more defensively? These t This type of information will indicate what type of strategy your opponent is going for. Is it in the base? Most likely he's going to turtle or boom. With a lot of farms that means playing for the late game. If it's out on the map, then you can probably be sure that your opponent is going to go for a more aggressive playstyle in the mid game, maybe in the feudal age. The Kremlin here is very defensive. That means it's definitely going to be a more turtly style of play. There are other things that you can look for whenever you are scouting in the Dark Age. Those things are the full English woodline on HUP. So, are there a lot of villages on an English woodline? That probably means that they're going to go for a longbow rush. If they're adding a barracks as well, they're definitely going to go for a feudal uh, type of play. Is the Chinese late on HUP? Let's say it's a Chinese player. Then you want to take a look at how many villages are on each resource. And are there some missing villages? Are you in danger of being barbican dropped? And so you want to find those villages and where they're dropping the barbican. The last one is, if you're in feudal, this goes with scouting, just a little bonus tip. If, for example, if the HRE has 5, 6 on gold, then you can be pretty sure that it's going to be a fast castle. And these are things that you can use to your advantage and expose, on your, expose your opponent this way in order to uh, maximize your effectiveness. So, the third most common mistake that people make in the Dark Age is not knowing quite how to respond to the Dark Age rush. It can come from a variety of different civs, such as the Ottomans, the uh, English, and the English also have a villager tower rush that is super powerful if you're playing civs like the Abbasid and the Delhi Sultanate. When you're dealing with an early vanguard man at arms assault, for example, it can be a good idea to pull your healer very early if you have healers. So if you're playing HRE, if you're playing um, Delhi, you can use your healer to, uh, to make sure that you are not going to lose any villages that are gathering the rest of the gold that you need for age up. Now, this goes for any sieve. If you're being rushed, you just need to gather the last amount of gold you need for feudal. So, in this case, I keep on making villages that go over here because I know I can heal and micro a little bit here so I don't lose my scholar and my villages. And then just uh, stay alive until I can get the necessary amount of gold, which would be uh, below 3900 gold. Unless you're playing HRE, which is 200 gold that you'll need for age up. So, so let's say in the case of playing the Daily Sultanate and you did not gather the last amount of gold that you needed for age up. What you can also do is take a look at the town center vicinity here and then know where it is safe to build that tower. You're not going to be able to build the tower all the way out here if there's man at arms, but you can build it here. And that's going to enable you to uh, gather gold here. And whenever an enemy man at arms come around, you press G shoot it a little bit, and then D. They don't automatically heal, so at some point they'll die. Most important thing is get H up. If all things uh, are going wrong, maybe try the barracks. 
the fourth most common mistake that people make in the Dark Age is overreacting to stuff like the Tower Rushes. When you're dealing with a Tower Rush, you want to make an Archer range as quick as possible, or go up with the Military Ring, for example, if you're playing as the Abbasid, because you need to take out this guy, the Villager, because that is the only way that you're going to stop the Tower Rushing. Most Mongol players will make two towers, three towers, depending on how many resources they can deny. And one of the first priorities when you're playing as the Abbasid is your stone. And so they will tower rush either your gold or your stone. And if they tower rush your stone, well, you're not going to make a second TC immediately before that tower is gone or you go to another stone. Instead, what you have to do is make the correct and right amount of military. So don't start making... Uh, crazy moves where you're all of a sudden towering your gold or you are building a barracks when all you really need is a ram and a few archers so th keep this in mind whenever you're getting tower rushed don't let it throw yourself off completely hit on wood head on food and then work on taking it out the fifth most common mistake people make in the dark age is having their scout being idle and so what you definitely don't want to do during a rush is have lack of information and so if you are being tower rushed here and your scout is just idling in the corner and you haven't scouted any of the map then you are really in a bad spot because you don't know what the next move from your enemy will be so in this case you have a tower here you have to deal with it sure you make your ram and you deal with the tower but we're seven minutes into the game here and we don't know that our enemy is trading that they have an archery range up to counter the barracks that we have made and that they're heavy on wood and food but also a little bit on gold for the trade so this is information that we are missing and all we have is our scout in our base many people make this mistake you can't really use your scout in fights and so what you want to do is camp it around your opponent's ovu if you're being tarash camp it around the wood line or the production building just so that you can tell when are they changing their unit comps? When are they maybe transitioning to a castle age or a second TC? Whatever, right? Just use the scout. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, be sure to check out the description and the links that are down there. I stream on Twitch regularly every weekend. And from June onwards, I'm going to be streaming in the weekdays as well as I'm going to be back uh, full time on Twitch and doing the YouTube thing here. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you do, like, subscribe and uh, have a good one. See you next time.